Hey everybody, so today there was a new update for CSGO named Seeing the Light and with this came a lot of changes and a new case. So let's go through the case first and then we'll go through all of the changes. So this is a quick look at all of the weapons. You can kind of just take a look around and then we'll go into like a better image. But this is all of them, a lot of interesting things. There's a blue AK, which is super interesting. There's a new purple op which is really, really nice. And probably the saddest part is there's a new pink AUG, but let's go into a more detailed one. All right, so let's start off with the covert skins. First, we got an M4, and I am a big fan of this. I really, really like this. So it's called the Emperor. There's not much to really say about it. It's cool. It's a nice blend of blue and gold. I like the picture. Next, we've got the 5-7 Angry Mob. This has a very, like, cartoony feel to it. Uh, kind of fits an overpass. I like the skin. Um, I think the 5-7 definitely needs a covert skin. And I think this does it. I like that. I see no issues. I think from the past couple of cases, this is, compared to them, these are two very good blues. So I'm happy with that. Next, we got the Skull Crusher. This is a pink revolver. Not a huge fan. Yeah. Overall, I think this case is strong in its blues and its reds. It is very weak in its pinks, and it's mediocre for its purples. But let's keep going. Um, again, another very disappointing uh, pink shotgun. I'm a fan of the P P250 Alligator Covert Skin. I'm a very big fan of that. Not a very big fan of this one. Uh, next, we've got the Desert Eagle Light Rail. Very, very big fan of this. Um, yeah, it's basically probably going to become a cheaper variant of uh, Desert, Eagle, Desert Eagle Blaze. Huge fan. I, I really like this. I truly, I do like that. Um, uh, then we got an MP5. Not a huge fan of this. This is just basically um, just a normal like uh, metal... I don't know what it's called. Just a metal skin. Um, pretty cool. Uh, it's a purple filler. So it's not meant to be amazing. Um, but I could see this used a lot for lower income players. So me personally, I'm probably going to pick up in a, in a couple months a stat track version of this just to use as my normal MP5. It's very nice because at this moment, we don't have many MP5s out anyway. So this is a very good one to have. Um, we have the Tech 9 Bamboozle. I'm a huge fan of the name, not a huge fan of the skin, but I think it's a pretty good purple. I, I think it's a solid purple. This would look very, very nice with some foil or a hollow flip side stickers and I don't know what, any, anything that has a green sticker basically, this would go very nice with. Because a, a lot of a, a lot of skins don't look good with stickers, especially with things like the Aquamarine, which have a lot of detail. But plain skins like this, with the one plain color, are very nice with shiny stickers. So I'm a, I this would probably look very good with some stickers. Um, by far the best skin in this case. I'm 100% replacing my ump later in a couple months once the prices drop with a stat track version of this skin. I mean, there's not much to say. Look at it. It's um, kind of like the Glock skin that came out before. Very nice. It's a perfect skin. Uh, we got an MP7 Mischief. Not a huge fan, but it's a very it's a very solid blue. No complaints. Very good blue. Um, we got a FAMAS. Not a huge fan of this one either. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's a good skin. Nothing flashy. Uh, something cheap that a lot of players could pick up. Uh, same with this one, the Akuben, Akuben, Galil. Um, I do actually like this one. I'm not a huge fan of very like detailed fine print skins, but it's not bad. It's really not bad. Uh, I dig it. Um, not a fan of this. We don't have to talk about why. It it looks like a rust coat P250. Yeah. Um, I do like this. The off-world P90. I do like this actually. I find this pretty interesting. Once again, this would probably be the type of skin to look very nice with some like Cloud9 hollows. Um, I think it would look very nice with this skin. Uh, we got a very interesting blue AK, and I don't, I don't want to say this kind of looks like the cartel, but 
It basically just looks looks like a default AK with some carvings in it. Pretty good. Um, this is going to be a very cheap stat track AK skin for a lot of people who don't want to spend a lot of money. I'm a fan. Honestly, I'm a fan. Not a huge fan of the thing itself, but just the idea of having a cheaper AK. I'm completely down with. And uh, the MAC-10, Whitefish, eh, not a huge fan. And lastly, I actually skipped over this because I want to talk about this. The Op Atheris, which is a purple op. Now, this skin, I can guarantee you, will become the next standard default op skin. Now, let me kind of explain myself. Uh, two years ago, if you guys remember, there weren't many op skins that were for, like, the average consumer. We didn't really have much of anything low end. You know, you had, obviously, your Dragon Lores, your Asimovs. But there was really nothing until basically the worm god came along so the worm god was the first purple op that was fairly cheap so for in between the the worm god and basically the phobos that was the time where everybody who wasn't a high tier gambler but still wanted to spend money and have nice skins everybody had a stat track worm god that's that's what people had because they couldn't afford the Asimovs, but they could afford like a $10, $15 op skin. So for a while, that's what everyone had. The Stat Trek Worm God. And then the Phobos came along, which is actually what I own now. That was the next kind of tier of, hey, this is a nice cheap op that you don't have to spend $100 for to have it in Stat Trek. So ever since the Phobos came out, at this moment, everyone basically just has a Stat Trek Phobos. Uh, obviously if they don't still have a stat track worm god now that this came out i can i'm predicting it i'm actually gonna watch this video six months a year from now this will be the new worm god slash phobos everyone will have a stat track version of this and you can hold me to that and we did skip another the aug momentum now this was the kind of the one that i was a little bit disappointed in obviously with the new aug meta everyone kind of needed a new aug to play with and this is what we got now i said it was a pretty disappointing in the sense that this looks pretty nice like this is one of the first augs that has a full body it looks like skin a lot of augs don't have the front painted at all they just have the stock basically only the stock so i can see this is painted it looks like throughout the entire body but it's a little bit disappointing in that the skin itself the whole arrow thing they had an ump skin like this it wasn't very popular it's still not popular and i'm guessing this is going to be used only for the fact that this is i think the first fully colored skin that's basically it pretty big disappointment in my opinion and very quickly and lastly we have the exceeding rare item the knives of this case so this includes all of the new skins like the talon the stiletto and all of that and in these new patterns so tiger 2 damascus steel marble fade rusco doppler and ultraviolet very cool i like this um this is very logical um the new knives that came out let's give them more skins it makes sense so one quick look at all the skins again this is everything uh that came out highlights in my opinion blue ak very nice purple op very nice the purple ump very 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 nice and the coverts are usually always nice so pretty good all right let's go through the notes and talk about so guys if you only care about the skins you can leave the video now we're not gonna really be talking about that we're gonna be talking about the differences and this is also gonna serve as a semi reaction video because i haven't read through this much so we're gonna react to it together so they adjusted the loss bonuses so round loss bonuses are now based on the count of the team's round losses. The count increases by one every loss and decreases by one after every win. So it doesn't just automatically go to zero now. So it doesn't go like, oh, three rounds lost and you win one and it goes back down to zero. Now it only decreases by one. So with zero, it's 1,400. With one, 1,900. Two, 2,400. Three, 2,900. And four plus 3,400. Uh, would... So previously a win would reset the rouse. Now a win reduces by one. Um, teams still begin the half with a loss count of one. Blah, blah, blah. Very good. I like this. Um, I've noticed, although with the rise of the AUG came with CT uh, dominance, 
Uh, I found it very hard, especially on the CT, that if you did start losing, you would get hammered pretty hard because of the prices of the guns are a lot higher than of the T's. So I like this. Um, added flashbang assist for players who successfully flash an enemy. Another very nice. A lot of uh, support players and very teamwork based players. Um, they didn't really get much credit for their flashbanging the enemy and then people following up. Very nice. So now that the AUG has an opportunity and the love blah blah blah. So the AUG is returning to its original price. Very good. Um, the AWP was overpowered. If you don't agree with me, you're wrong. It was overpowered. It was just as strong as the M4, maybe stronger, and had a scope, and better armor penetration. You could maybe even say that it wasn't overpowered, but it was just as strong and maybe better. So, the fact that it was the same price as the M4, but, you know, there's a $50 difference, not much. That was pretty bad. So, it's very nice that they, um, they didn't nerf the gun. They didn't lower its damage, they didn't lower its penetration. All they did was increase the price back to its original. Very good. Smart move. The M4S now holds 25 bullets and has 75 in reserve. Very good. Once again, this is a pretty good update in my opinion. Um, nobody uses the silence anymore unless basically you're stupid. The M4 was better in every sense, more bullets, it was stronger. Now you have an incentive to actually use the silenced because now they has more bullets has more reserve very good very very good change now hopefully people will start using the silenced again uh the shotguns all of the prices were reduced the nova's 1050 sawed off as 1100 and the max 7 was 1300 um pretty big fan of that too recently i've been using a lot of shotguns i don't know why but i've been using it and I'm actually pretty happy. Nova penetration increased to 1. Sawed off range increased to 1400. Single shotgun shells in the middle of the reload scenes will no longer automate. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, cool. Very big fan of this, actually. Yeah, Prisma case, miscellaneous uh, maps. Uh, there was a few map changes with canals and vertigo, which I'm not going to go through because I don't play those maps. Okay, so that is basically everything. Huge fan. Actually, like, I don't... Is this like a perfect update? Dare I say a perfect update? They fixed round loss bonuses, which was pretty bad for a while. They fixed the AUG. They fixed the silenced. They reduced the shotgun price, which in my opinion is quite fair. Not needed, but quite fair. Yeah, guys, I think we have a good one. Yay, Valve. All right, cool. So one last look at the knives and the skins. There you go, guys. If you want some of the new skins, go ahead and buy some cases for around $10 at the moment. So I wouldn't recommend that. Wait a few months. Um, I'm telling you, this op will be the next op stat track Phobos. And this ump is going to be very, very popular. You can hold me to that. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.